I think that this province is headed in the right direction and Albertans are very, very excited. It's an enviable position for any finance minister. I'm announcing today an over $13 billion surplus, the largest investments in the Heritage Saving Trust Fund in our history, paying down all of our uh, short-term debt this year. That means nearly $2 billion for the province's rainy day fund. Hundreds of millions more will go to an income tax break, but no extra help for seniors and those on social assistance. Where we have record revenues coming in, where we have billions in surplus, and this government is allowing um, you know, children and seniors and disabled Albertans to continue to struggle to pay for food. Albertans are mixed on what to do with the rest of the gusher of cash. I think investing in education, investing in local community, so that our kids can have, you know, playgrounds to play in, parks like this. Well, I think really we've got still quite a bit of an overall debt, so they'll probably have to pay that off a little bit. The basics, you know, housing and nourishment are, in my mind, forefront. Economists warn continuing to rely on resource revenue is risky. Here we are at the top of the roller coaster. Uh, we've been at the bottom for a few years, now we're at the top. What we do now is really important for how we deal with the eventual fall back to the bottom of the roller coaster. The current surplus is not a major talking point in the United Conservative Party leadership campaign. At a debate last night, much of the focus was on Alberta's sovereignty and federal grievances. You see what Ottawa does to us? They invade our jurisdiction time and time and time again. We can't wave a magic wand and get rid of federal law. That is simply a fallacy. The province's bullish economy may not be getting much traction in the UCP leadership race, but the winner will inherit a rosy forecast, something they might find helpful in the provincial election next spring. Alison Dempster, CBC News, Calgary.